Welcome back to Bohika's War Thunder Favorites. This week I thought I'd take out a fun play in the uh, HS129 B-2. It's one of my War Thunder, I'll call it Guilty Pleasures. And I'll real quickly run through the technical data of how I have mine plane set up. It takes a while of grinding to get all these parts unlocked. Once you get through all the suffering of getting your ass beat for a while, uh, unlocking the cannon pods and the ammo and the performance upgrades really helps this plane. And as you can see I have a custom skin here, I'll try to link that in the chat below. First off, you have to get the R2 modification for the MK-103 cannon underneath. It is the biggest help. I load air target ammo into that. I load the 20s with stealth. And then uh, I do the 7.92s and stuff as well. So I just really want to see, usually the 20mm slides somewhat close to the 30, but I really need to see where that 30 is going because that's our heavy hitter. And there is a new HS-129B-2, the Romanian one I believe, that was added a while back in a, uh, but it comes with a tank too. And if you don't want to go through all the pain and suffering to unlock all the upgrades for the uh, duck, I won't, call, try, I won't try to call it duck too much, but you can buy the premium aircraft here if you just want to go out and have some fun without all the grinding. So I think that's about it here. I'll show you my service record with it. Um, it's kind of shameful. You can't do this with a mouse. Or you can't do this with a uh, joystick. You have to play with mouse and keyboard to get a kill streak like this. But this thing churns like nuts, and I'll show you some tricks. But 100 was it 20? That's our 100, I don't know, 10 to 50. It's like a 2 to 1 KDR. So, not too shabby. Um, it does do ground attacking too. If you load ground target ammo into that 30mm gun underneath, you can kill medium to light tanks as well. And pillboxes, I believe. So let's join a match. And it took me all night to get this map. This map. It gets air spawns with the attackers and the German bombers. So, it's bulges where this plane really has its success. I put up a video last week of... Uh, Bismarck and Shadow and I flying one called HS or Duck Duck Tree over Bulge or something. And this plane works really well with teammates. Um, when you fly it solo, you're going to be probably swarmed because everybody sees HS 129 and they dive on it because they think it's a free kill. So when you fly solo, I think this is a great party plane, a great squadron plane. But when you fly solo, um, just be prepared that you're going to probably be trading punch for punch and then you'll eventually die. Um, and you'll probably see me do that today because there's no way this thing's so slow and when you get the best way to describe it you'll start at high altitude and then you use your altitude to dive you get up your airspeed you churn you lose a ton of energy and as every time you churn and make maneuvers in the air you're slowly getting closer and closer to the earth and this thing doesn't have the power to climb back up so I'll show, try to show you that in a while but usually I start high and then I slowly work my way down and then I eventually die because I'm just too slow and slow um, this plane, why I call it the Duck, is because it is the, uh, Germans actually call it the Panzernacker, or the Panzer Cracker, or the Tank Cracker, I guess it's a bunch of puns in there. I call it the Panzer Cracker, um, I don't think they called it back then, but, I mean, come on, the fucking thing looks like a duck, yellow painted beak, or bill, everything. So I call it the Panzer Cracker. There's only about 850, 860 of these things made, uh, 1942 was when the B-2 was delivered. I don't know for sure off the top of my head when the B-3, I don't actually think I've ever researched it, but I don't know when the B-3 came in. I know the B-2 came in, I think, early of 1942. It is supposed to be a low altitude ground attacker. It was somewhat heavily armored, a lot of glass up front. I find it kind of weird, if you look at the front, um, you'll actually see the sight on the outside of the airplane. I think that's kind of weird, whatever. Um, and it uses, I believe the engines are French. I think Kobe mentioned that once to me, but the engines are French. And they're 700 horsepower. And this aircraft, it's actually smaller than you would think. Or at least I think it's smaller than I, I think in real life. Uh, those engines are only 700 horsepower piece, so I think they're a little bit over underpowered. But this thing wasn't meant to go high altitude, you know. We're using it for other purposes in the game than it was ever meant for. So, can't be too harsh on it for that, right? Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick speed. The top speed is 407 kmh or 253 miles per hour. So in this game, I know you can go past that. I'm almost doing that right now. But I know in a dive, you can get the sink past that, no problem. So let's roll over. I think I see some dots out there. And yep, we got a B-25. I'm sure, I think I saw a couple others trying to, while I was talking, sneak by. So we're going to dive on these B-25s. I'll never get this altitude back, but this thing is... I, I see it in this game primarily as a bomber hunter. Hopefully, if I can smack this B-25 from behind, you'll see, see exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. There we go. It's 
So that cannon, that MK103 underneath, that huge 3 millimeter shell, when it does hit register, it'll, uh, it'll take down anything from B-25s, Mustangs, B-17s, anything you shoot at, it blows up tanks, pillboxes. Like I said, it's a, it's a wonderful cannon when it works. We've got a BTD. I'm kind of nervous because I'm outnumbered here, and the fighters are going to be a ways back on that runway takeoff that they had. Um, let's see, I thought that B-25 was going to try to do a little bit of prop hang for me. That BTD is the thing that scares me most over here. Um, I can't probably outturn it. Especially, like I said, you can just see I'm still about 250 mph, 240 mph. I've still got my airspeed up, but next time, next turn, I probably won't have it. Come on. There we go, that's a good hit. I don't know why. Is he just avoiding me? He doesn't see me? He doesn't care? I don't know. People seem to act like the duck doesn't exist sometimes or it's harmless. I don't understand. The thing has three cannons on it, two machine guns. Um, just because it's cute doesn't mean it's. I don't call it cute, but just because it's a duck doesn't mean it's friendly. Oh, here we go. Just like this B-25 just learned. Oh, there's another. Oh my god, it's, it's fucking hunting season. Oh, man, it's because I try to keep the puns under control. Let's see, what was that, the B-25? That one's down. I thought that BTD would crash, but evidently he's just living on, living the dream. Oh, another PBG. I think he has me here in my airspeed. Like I said, my airspeed gets slow, and yeah, I'm dead. Um, hopefully he'll burn down. Let's see if we can get him. I want to make, before I leave, I want to make sure. Oh, God, that would be disturbing. Um, nope, two kills. I still hear the little ding, ding, ding critical, so hopefully I can cycle through these guys, and I want to see him burn and crash. I'll run a second one of these in a minute, because this is way too short. Um, maybe we'll do some fighter hunter stuff. It does actually, you can compete as a fighter for a little bit before the airspeed kills you. Oh god, that didn't look good for that Stuka. Where? Come on. I don't hear the dings anymore, and I have three kills, so let's move on to the next round. And we'll see if I can demonstrate a little bit more. That was so fast. Like I said, you don't live very long in this thing, but you can put out some damage. So, you know, we'll call that a win. Alright, here's the other run that I, uh added on to this. So I'm going to dive on this A-20 first. Not oh, so frustrating. So there's A-20, and then there's going to be probably a slew of Mustangs, and I don't think there's any Bearcats. I think it was just Mustangs this time, so... Roll over. Like I said, the Duck with Airspeed can do many magical things. Um, and this is well past this top speed that the, uh, the internet listed for it. I don't have any book sources. That A-20, though. He's like, how's the HS-129? Yep, HS-129 is going to catch me from behind. And there's a party over there. Look at that. Simple. So, I call this a win already. If you can get 1-1 one, one with a HS-129, I call that a win for you. You know, at least you can... Oh, God, that Corsair. Oh, can I get a shot? So this thing turns. Weird. Mouse and keyboard. Now, hard to hit a fighter with a cannon the size of this thing. Hopefully those fighters can get him. Like I said though, fly this plane for fun. Uh, I don't, I'm not telling you to grind with it or, you know, if you're having, if you just want to do a little bit of, I don't know, I don't want to say trolling, but if you just want to have some fun, you want to fly something different. That's the whole reason I started flying this plane is that I never saw it. I never saw anybody ever flying this thing. And so I took it out and I'm like, this is actually kind of fun. You're the underdog, and sometimes being the underdog is a lot of fun. You know, it makes those kills so much more worth it. Oh, here we go, the Mustang. And so I kind of like to fly away, and then I'll try to, like, sneak my way back in and try to catch unsuspecting fighters. Um, you know, Ninja Duck. Let's see if we can catch him here. Oh, maybe not. I bet it'll turn right back into me. It's gonna turn back on that 190, so hopefully. Oh, yeah, this is what I want. And I miss. Go me, right? Look at that airspeed, though. This is what I'm talking about. When they get that airspeed low, this thing doesn't turn like it did before, and it's impossible to really get that airspeed back without a long run. Or some help off the Oh, there we go. That's. That's the money spot. Let's keep shooting. 
to make sure that British Mustang is dead. That went pretty well, I'd say. And I'm scared to death because I'm at 130 mph. I'm almost, this thing stalls around 90 mph, I think, off the top of my head. So she has a really low stall speed, which I've seen people crash a lot diving on this thing because you don't think it's moving. Um, oh, here's the Mustang. That doesn't look good. Oh. And I think there's something else shooting at me, but I've learned in the dock that if, if you don't want to know what's behind you, just don't look. You know, one of those things like, he can't kill me if I don't know he's there. It's completely stupid, but sometimes you just gotta fly fearless. What would Howard the Duck do, right? Sorry, can't stop the duck puns. Oh, there's, yep, that's Mustang, yep. Uh, this thing does catch on fire from time to time. It, it, it used to be really bad in the game, and it seems like they've toughened it up a bit, especially the wings. The wings used to snap off left and right. Um, but the real problem with the this plane, why I say it has a low survivability, is those engines, what, you need both engines to stay afloat. Um, if one of those engines gets damaged or dies, you're going to crash and almost crash immediately. So that's why you have to fly this thing, I think, aggressively because, ooh, almost had him there. That would have been a nice kill. Oh, God, trees. Oh, okay. Well, there goes the right engine, so that's exactly what I was talking about. So there's the right engine. It just ate some tree branches in it, maybe a robin or an owl or something, and... You can already see I'm suffering. Look at that. I'm already suffering. 127, 122, 110, you know, 103. I'm losing airspeed left and right here, even though it's kind of in a little bit of climb. I can't keep this afloat. And I'm just slowly falling. So when you're flying the duck, you have to protect your engines. Um, without the engines, you're dead. And that poor Mustang's wondering why I won't die. But you can see I'm just slowly falling here. And it's not because of the wing damage, it's because of the engines. And there I go. Like I said, though, you're not going to live in this plane. Um, just have fun. Be creative.